take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. For funerals of general officers and flag officers of O-10, four-star rank, a 17-gun salute is fired. O-9, three-star rank, a 15-gun salute is fired. O-8, two-star rank, a 13-gun salute is fired. O-7, one-star rank, an 11-gun salute is fired. Let's help you make your mark. There are certain rules for those seeking to wear the uniform for formal functions, national holidays, parades, military funerals and weddings and other military occasions. Only the service dress uniform may be worn. No work, battle dress or PT uniforms are permitted to be worn at formal events. Make your mark, take our lead. VA will pay up to $796 toward burial and funeral expenses for deaths on or after October 1, 2019. If hospitalized by VA at time of death, or $300 toward burial and funeral expenses. If not hospitalized by VA at time of death, and a $796 plot interment allowance. If not buried in a national cemetery, Take our lead. A United States flag is provided, at no cost, to drape the casket or accompany the urn of a deceased veteran who served honorably in the U.S. Armed Forces. It is furnished to honor the memory of a veteran's military service to his or her country. Let's help you make your mark. The first fold of our flag is a symbol of life. The second fold is a symbol of our belief in eternal life. The third fold is made in honor and remembrance of the veteran departing our ranks, and who gave a portion of his or her life for the defense of our country to attain peace throughout the world. Make your mark, take our lead. Yes, it is customary to salute them when you recognize them as officers, when they are in uniform or when they are participants in ceremonies. Security personnel, gate guards, at military installation entrances salute retired officers when they see their rank as they check ID cards, for example. Make your mark, take our lead. The salute was first used by ships who were coming to shore and wanted to show that they meant no harm by discharging their cannons seven times. Eventually, once this practice caught on, cannons on land would return the salute by firing three shots for every shot the ship discharged. Point two one October 2016. Let's help you make your mark. The practice of firing one gun for each state in the Union was not officially authorized until 1810, when the United States Department of War declared the number of rounds fired in the National Salute to be equivalent to the number of states, which, at the time was 17. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.